This is Math 142, the final practice, and I'm going to do questions 12 and 13 together because they both have the same initial conditions. Um, I, I know something about angle U. The sine of angle U is negative 4 fifths. I know something about angle V. Uh, the cosine of it is 5 thirteenths, and they both terminate in quadrant 4. And what I want to do is find the cosine of the value if I added those angles together and the sine if I subtracted them. So I know the, this expansion, or I can look it up on the scoundrels page. Either way that I go, I know that this is the same as um, cosine of u times cosine of v, and then opposite operator, sine of the first one, sine of the second one. And this expansion is um, sine of the first one, cosine of the second one, same operator, cosine of the first one, sine of the second one. So in both of these cases, I know sine u and cosine v, but I'm going to need cosine of u and sine of v. So let me do some sketching here to help me get at it. Quadrant 4. So sine is negative 4 fifths. So this is negative 4 and this is 5. And I'm going to need that value to get the, the cosine of u. And I could do Pythagorean theorem for it. I know that it's going to be square root of 5 squared minus negative 4 squared, and that's going to end up being a positive 3. And it's going in the positive direction, so 3. So cosine is 3 fifths. And if I sketch this one, also in quadrant 4, I know that cosine is 5 thirteenths, so that's x over r. Again, I can get at this by using Pythagorean theorem, 13 squared minus 5 squared. And uh, let's see, that ends up being a 12. So this is 12. But I have to be very careful about the uh, the sign, the S-I-G-N value of it, because it's going down. So this is actually a negative 12. So that tells me then that sine of V is negative 12 thirteenths. Great. So now I have all my pieces that I need. Now I can substitute them in to get the values for this. So cosine of U is 3 fifths. Cosine of v is 5 thirteenths minus uh, sine of u is negative 4 fifths. Sine of v is negative 12 thirteenths. And then I can just do some arithmetic. This would be 15 over 65 um, minus a negative times a negative is positive. So that's 48 over 65. And then if I go 15 minus 48, I get negative 33. So the cosine value of them added together is negative 33 65 And the sine value of them subtracted, let me plug in these values. Sine u is negative 4 fifths. Cosine of v is 5 thirteenths. Minus cosine of u is 3 fifths and sine of v is negative 12 thirteenths. So that from here I can do some multiplication, negative 20 60 fifths. And notice this is a negative times a negative, so this will be plus uh, 36 60 fifths. Negative 20 plus 36 is 16, 16 60 fifths.